David Cavanaugh got the carburetors out of the FCR 1000 and taking a look at the insides a little bit. I had one here with a, a screw that somebody had clearly tried to get out and probably used the wrong screwdriver. Um, but the correct thing is this um, Japanese industry standard number two, which fits the screws perfectly. So I put that in an impact wrench to break the break them free really cleanly and that works great uh, except for the one that was uh, already messed up. So I, I just used the Dremel and used the disc on this and I had a Chapman set which had, had this really nice um, bit in it and this happens to fit nice and chunky and it fits really well into the slot I just made. So I'm going to get that out in a second. All right, so that worked perfectly. Um, here's the screw. I'm going to have to replace that, of course. Um, I noticed this this was the, the cylinder I questioned, and it has the most gunk in the bottom of the, the bowl. Uh, it, it looks like there's something going on with the float there. I may want to replace those. This is more gunk in this carburetor, and I think that this one was running lean. So. All right, so yeah, I think... I think the other three carburetors were noticeably cleaner in there, and <clears throat> now that these have had a chance to dry out, I can. There is some residue in these, so I mean, clearly there was some bad gas that sat in this bike for a while. I'm gonna go through and, and get everything disassembled. I want to take a look at the, the diaphragms in the top. Actually, let me pause this. I'm gonna get the. At, get some of those caps taken off and uh, we'll take a look. So here's the first one out. Seems to be a little crud in there. Um, actually it's particles, which is okay. Not too sure what to think of particles. Um, but, oh, the needle, needle jet just came out. Um, it all looks pretty clean. Anyway, the rubber is intact. That was the important part, and I'll get the rust taken apart, but I officially need to start organizing my parts <laughs> so I don't lose track of anything. Already, um, um, the float needle came out, and a couple pins probably, uh, I think pivots for um, the float. Oh, yeah, there's, there's, there's one of them that came out. That's probably the one that owned the float needle. All right. Got to get organized. Can't get things messed up here. All right. <laughs> I have to decide if I need to break the rack as well. Um, there's there's the enrichment um, plungers here. I don't think I can get at all the rest of them in, um, unless I break the rack. Um, there's two bolts here that go through the entire rack. Um, what else? Oh, there's also the, th the throttle shafts. Um, and... I'll need to make sure that those, I know those seals can can get worn and leak air, so I want to make sure I pay attention to everything. All right, very good. Um, probably the next time I shoot a video, I'll have a lot more taken apart. Thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe if you feel so inclined. Thanks a lot.